The IDMC is a special place. It is one of the three Harvard teaching hospitals. It's um, really unique in the fact that the collegiality of BI, as well as the culture, makes it stand out. You know, I'd heard for many years before I came that there's sort of this secret sauce of collaboration and camaraderie that really isn't present in other institutions in which I'd work. And it, it permeates everything that we do. It's a very special place. My perspective as a fellow is that I could knock on anyone's door, which I did all the time, call anyone, text anyone um, at any time if I needed a helping hand, an opinion, or just to chat through a complicated case. I still do that now with my colleagues, and I learn just as much from the fellows as hopefully the fellows learn from all of us. Working at the BI is really a lot of fun. There are uh, so many uh, interesting, uh, intelligent, uh, but also friendly and fun-loving people who are here. The atmosphere is one of a family. It's really an incredibly warm and supportive place to work, and I enjoy coming to work every day. Every day I love coming to work, not just because of what I love doing, which is heart failure and seeing the patients, but I really enjoy working with the people I work with. It's, it's fun to work with them, and I think of them as family. pride ourselves on being able to really recruit a, a cohesive group. I mean, I like the fact that, uh, you know, we're lucky that we're able to kind of recruit the best and the brightest around the country, but we really strive to get people that are going to gel together, be cohesive, and be collaborative instead of competitive. So one very characteristic aspect of the cardiology fellowship program in general is that fellows have a lot of autonomy. That starts from the very first year where they're taking call and responsible for managing all cardiovascular care overnight. And it extends into the specialty rotations, including electrophysiology. As the first year fellow, you're the one who gets the STEMI page. You go down to the emergency room, evaluate the patient, decide if you want to activate the lab, determine access, and then you run upstairs and are the one to get access yourself. So the um, independence that you have and being able to make the decision on how to manage the patient, but then also the graduated autonomy that you have to be able to call the attending, call the interventional fellow if you're not sure about what to do next is really rewarding. The culture here is, you know, we're in this together. And um, when there's a sick patient, um, you're not kind of the sole cardiology fellow trying to manage it all on your own, but you've always got backup, whether that's even from your fellow, co-fellows, senior fellows, and especially the faculty. Um, this is a place where um, it's always encouraged to pick up the phone and call the attending whenever you're unsure. And, um, and that's why I found, especially my first year of fellowship, particularly enjoyable. I think the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center is a remarkable place, not only from a clinical standpoint, but I've gotten the chance to be involved in clinical research for the past several years under the mentorship of Dr. Michael Gibson, both at the Profuse Study Group and at the Bain Institute for Clinical Research. And in my experience, the trials that we've worked on and the research that we've done in the last several years has given me an insight into clinical trials that I don't think I could have gotten anywhere else. Fellows can get involved in research at the Smith Center in a few different ways. We have a program that uh, fellows can get didactic training at Harvard School of Public Health and do really uh, immersive research with our group for a two-year period, uh, seek external funding, and really that puts them on a pathway to be 
uh, independent investigators uh, in this space. We now have 11 or 12 who have American Heart Association fellowships or K awards. That competes with really anyone in, in the country. We really have a lot of phys emerging physician scientists, a lot of fantastic new clinicians, and there's a vibrancy that I'm really excited about. And that's really what I'm most proud of. I find that attendings are available not only to talk about patients uh, whenever I happen to be worried about a patient or have a clinical question, but also if I'm worried about my career, I'm worried about the next step in my research, or um, you know, I'm looking for somebody to talk through um, sort of my life goals with. We're all kind of working together to learn how to take care of complex patients and you know be you know, good cardiologists clinically and, you know, from a teaching perspective and from a research mentoring perspective and all of that. So I think that, I think it's a really unique environment, um, honestly. Yeah.